Hey guys, so I got a little repair for you today. So uh, what I have here is a board. Uh, this is a media IO board from Mario Kart. This is the thing that controls like the steering wheel and the pedals and stuff like that. And uh, we think that it has a bad ROM chip, which is right here. And as you can see, it is surface mount. So I used to be really scared of surface mount stuff, but it's actually not as hard to deal with as you might think. So uh, I'm going to swap this ROM chip out and uh, we'll see if that fixes it. The first tool I'm going to use is this special heat gun. It takes a minute or so for it to heat up. Thankfully, it has a nice temperature readout. Once it gets nice and hot, I'll start making circles around the chip to bring the temperature of the whole chip up. And then I'll start concentrating on the legs themselves. And then, miraculously, the entire chip will simply pop off like so. Then I'll set the heat gun to cool mode and let it run for a few minutes so it will cool itself down. And now it's time to use some solder wick or desoldering braid, whatever your preferred term is, and clean up the old solder on these pads. As you can see, my first attempt isn't working so great, so I'll grab a little flux and spread it over the area. And this just makes a world of difference. The solder is gobbled up easily. Now I need to clean up the flux from the board, which can be done with alcohol and a brush. You can't just leave it there because uh, once the alcohol evaporates, it will just leave the gunk behind. So you do need to wipe it off with something while it's still wet. And there we go. The solder pads are nice and clean. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put some fresh solder on these pads. Now, ideally, you'd probably want to use some solder paste, which is designed for this, but uh, we seem to be out of that today. So you can accomplish more or less the same goal with traditional solder. The key is just to put a tiny amount on each pad. There we go. Uh, this is what it looks like with all the pads ready to go. Now the trick is, after double checking the chip is facing the right direction, you just need to heat it back up while holding it in place. Eventually you'll see the solder melt and sometimes you can actually feel the chip recess down onto the melted solder. After that, uh, just go over the whole thing with a magnifier and make sure there's no solder bridges or questionable looking joints. The ultimate test of course is to reinstall the board back into the Mario Kart arcade machine. Okay, we'll power it up and see if there's any errors. Before, it was displaying wheel error on the screen. We didn't see any errors, so Mike Woods will give it a test drive. And everything appears to be working correctly. I think we have a winner. Well guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you at the arcade.